Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily make realistic trash bags in Blender. Let's get things started. So, the first thing you want to do is create a bunch of objects and mash them together like I showed in the video. This will act like the trash inside of the trash bag. After you've done that, combine all of your objects together by pressing Ctrl J. Then create a cube and make all of your objects fit inside that cube with absolutely nothing poking out. Then subdivide your cube about 25 to 30 times. After you've done that, go ahead and go to the modifiers tab and add a shrink wrap modifier. Now as you can see, there's a bunch of options here, but where it says target, go ahead and click on your combined object. If we look at the model, it looks kind of garbage, which is kind of our whole point is to make garbage, but you know what, forget it. Let's just continue. To fix this clipping issue, go ahead and set the offset to 0.07. Go ahead and turn off the viewport and apply the modifier. Create another cube and subdivide it 25 to 30 times. Now scale the cube so it covers your object and it has nothing poking out. Same as last time, go ahead and go to the modifiers tab and add a shrink wrap modifier. Then select your previously applied shrink wrap modifier. This time you're going to set the offset to 0.1. Go ahead and hide the viewport and apply it. After that, you're going to go into sculpt mode and smooth out your trash bag. The next thing you want to do is go into edit mode, select two squares on top of the trash bag, and extrude them both just a little bit. Click on one of the extruded squares and extrude it again, and then do the same thing with the other square as well. And you can adjust it like I show in the video. Go ahead and go to the sculpt mode and use the clot tool to make your trash bag nice and wrinkly. <laughs> Once you're done sculpting, go to the material properties and create a new material. And then in the shader editor, go ahead and copy these settings. You can even use image textures to make it a little more realistic. Once you're done with that, go ahead and put together like a little scene and uh, you should get something kind of like this. Thank you for watching my video. See you next time.